there are some fungal infections, not all, uh, which I need to discuss, the most important ones. First of all, you need to remember the classification of dermal uh, mycoses, uh, the skin infections which involve the fungi as causative organisms. They're usually uh, classified as deep or superficial mycoses. Uh, the superficial mycoses usually involve the stratum corneum of the skin and your hair and your nails, all right? Uh, while the deep mycoses involve the dermis and subcutaneous tissue, and they can also systemically infect the patient. Uh, in the superficial mycoses, you have dermatophytosis, you have uh, pityriasis, uh, and you also have uh, candidiasis. Uh, in dermatophytosis, you have dermatophytes, which are very, very common, and they are grouped together as tinea infections. These fungi are named tinea. Tinea is not uh, that tinea that is actually uh, named for the helminths. It is a general term in Latin for the fungi, so that is used, and it is followed by followed by uh, the location the, fu the fungus is involving, like tinea capitis for scalp, and uh, tinea corporis for the body, and tinea cruris for the groin, and pedis for the feet, and manus for the hands, unguium for the nails, and bobby for the beard. Uh, Pateriasis is also called tinea and is versicolor, tinea versicolor. It is called a tinea, but it is a pseudotinea, you may, you, may, you may remember it, because it is not a true tinea. So please differentiate it from the other dermatophytes. It is not a dermatophyte. Then you have candidiasis, uh, which has different forms, for example, intertriginous form or uh, an oral thrush which, uh, which presents with oropharyngeal uh, lesions. Then you have uh, peronychia on the nails, onychomycosis. Then you have uh, some palaic, uh, which has the lesions on the uh, angles of the mouth. And you have diaper dermatitis uh, uh, in some patients. Now, the deep mycoses involve either true or opportunistic pathogens. In the true pathogens, you usually have dimorphic fungi, which uh, exist as two forms. Number one is mold form that is present at 20 degrees Celsius, and they also occur as yeast or spherules at 37 degrees Celsius, which is the body temperature. They are generally acquired via inhalation and cause pulmonary infection that can disseminate. The usual examples are sporotrichosis, blastomycosis, histoplasmosis, and coccidiomycosis. While the opportunistic pathogens, they primarily affect those who are immunocompromised, and overall, uh, these are more severe and difficult to treat in immunosuppressed patients. The examples are mucormycosis, aspergillosis, and cryptococcosis. Now, candida is also an opportunistic pathogen, but it does not cause uh, systemic or deep infections. That is all for the classification of the fungal infections of the skin. Please subscribe to the channel. That will help me a lot. Signing off.